Hello, welcome to everyone in this video. This is the part 3 of solid state physics solutions is for in uh, for question 2021. Today I want to discuss question number 4 and 5. You can see this question number 1, 2, 3 are covered in last two section and this is third part. Here we want to discuss question number 4 and 5. In the upcoming session, we will be cover up question number 6 and 7 also. Next question, uh, next <laughs> we want to discuss this question. That is what is the OIS molecular field starting from this basic assumption of molecular field theory and the assumption of relation this uh, uh, this derived the Curie Owens law in fermionism. Uh, actually, OIS molecular field is the when this external magnetic field uh, uh, present in this external magnetic field, the uh, dipoles within the domain are wants to align along the external magnetic field and they produce a uh, field which is known as this is molecular field okay or exchange field etc etc so you can uh, find out this magnetization is given here where this pj is the uh, function so at saturation this b equals to zero it will be saturation magnetization and if you divided these things you will be obtained this expression and finally uh, for t greater than tc spontaneous magnetization is zero so it means like that and obtain this core is law so this derivation actually we discuss in theoretical class you can go through the uh, description box there is playlist so finally you obtain the core is law and next question says the core temperature of iron is given and the uh, magnetic moment is to the Bohr's magneton that is 2 mv and bcc that is that is within a unit cell there is two number of atoms present Lattice parameter is given here, mu v value is given here. Determine the magnet saturation magnetization which is Ni. That's n is nothing but 2 mu v. Uh, n is number of molecules per unit volume and I is 2 mu v. So finally, we obtain this expression. Curie constant is like that. M uh, is the 2 mu v. Actually, this I m are same. Actually, this is I. This is I. Okay. So 2 mu v and mu naught n by k, k is the Boltzmann's constant and always constant is tc by c, okay. Next question, what is the basic assumption of conic frame model? You take the conic frame model, this periodic uh, motion of uh, periodic potential uh, arrangement within the atoms, this plus is, uh, uh, this portion is zero portion is for nucleus and this is for electron is like there and then from this expression of conic frame model this relation what is the dimension of p if you can see this is the dimensionless this is the dimension alpha a is the dimensionless and p by alpha a is the dimensionless so p is also dimensionless what is uh, what is the physical significance actually p signify the electron uh, potential barrier right so p tends to infinity is the rigid and p tends to zero is for free electron next question says the graphical variation of this p uh, left hand side uh, p equal to 3 pi by 2 function of alpha a hence explain the appearance of allowed and the forbidden region this is the graph and this portion shadows portion are allowed and the rest are the uh, forbidden energy gap and for p tends to infinity third question was discuss the spectrum of energy in two extreme case p tends to infinity p tends to zero for t tends to infinity this uh, sign alpha a must be zero so energy is like that so this is a levels or particle and constant potential box so in a particle within a potential box then thus at the energy expression and when p tends to zero this energy is like that for free electron next is distinguished metal insulator and semiconductor on the basis of band theory of solid so for metal semiconductor and insulator will be like that for metal they are Conduction band and valence band are overlapped, so this electron can uh, balance and uh, conduct also. So these are free electron. In semiconductor, there is uh, energy gap between the lower uh, level of conduction band or upper level of valence band. Uh, we, if we apply the external energy, this electron from valence band can jump into the conduction band. But in case of insulator, this energy gap is very large, so electron cannot jump to balance band to conduction by, by applying the external energy that is heat uh, or light etc so that is the difference between the metal semiconductor and insulator
so that's it for today next class we will be discuss the upcoming question also so thank you